Greetings folks, this is my nice new Hobby King Tiger Moth. This is the 1400mm wingspan uh, Balsa Cambridge Groups inspired Tiger Moth. Absolutely beautiful model. It's, um, it's so big I have to stand up to uh, show it to you. This is a model that I've wanted for quite a while after seeing my friend Michael's version uh, and the Petrancic brothers with their uh, gas motor mine's electric. Uh, I decided I'd, I just had to have one so I bought it from Hobby King about 275 or so Australian dollars which is uh, amazing value for such a big beautiful balsa model. It's a kit so it doesn't come with any of the electronics uh, so you need a 750 watt motor. Uh, what I'm using should have plenty of power but it's a big model, it weighs in at about three and a half kilograms. I struggle to get the CG right, uh, I need even more weight. So I made up this little battery tray here to carry the two batteries uh, and I've got about an extra 80 grams of lead sort of hidden in under the, the nose there. That gets the CG to the right spot, which is uh, 110 to 112 millimetres back from the leading edge here. It's a pretty easy model to put together. Uh, the first thing you do is sort of use CA to glue the tail surfaces in. The rest of it is just bolting together really, uh, not too difficult at all. Servos I'm using are the uh, Emax ES3054 17 gram digital metal gear servos in the ailerons down here. See them underneath I think. And uh, we have big standard size servos in here. These are MG995s. Most of the, the build is absolutely fantastic, really appropriate, nice and strong. There's one glaring error. You can see we have a standard size servo, that's a 13 kilogram servo operating the rudder and elevator. We've got these monstrous big push rods, metal clevis pins there and the provided um, control horns are these crappy little thin and sort of just the ratchet fit control horns uh, I fitted them on there and I thought oh they just don't look very good and then I just pick them out and uh, they just fall out in your hand they're just a crash waiting to happen I think so I've put sort of stronger and bolted through um, control horns in there. They need to be longer than these anyway. These are just way too small. The rest of it is absolutely beautiful. Uh, I can't believe the amount of work gone into preparing this for the money it costs. Anyway, we're ready to go. Uh, as soon as we get some decent weather, we've had a lot of rain lately, so the flying field is, is very, very wet and we're getting sort of gale force winds. So once all of that calms down, then we'll take it out for a, for a maiden. I'm really hanging out for it. I'll show you in a little bit closer detail some of the, um, the nice details anyway. Uh, this is up on the top. This is uh, holding the top wings together. We've got the spar going through here and uh, some nylon bolts that hold it in there. Nice sort of magnetised top hatch which works really well. And the wing struts and the uh, wire attachments there, they all look really nice and sort of uh, scale. And these are, these are the tail control horns. You can see the uh, crappy supplied one there and the, my bigger replacements. Cockpit detail, nice little pilot there. I think I might uh, pull the pilot out of there and put an FPV rig, a panning FPV rig in there. That'll be fantastic. Looking inside there, you can see the big standard servos for the tail surfaces. Looking forward towards the uh, motor there, uh, big long bolts sort of motor, uh, mounting the motor. You can adjust where it mounts. And the landing gear there. They provide you a yellow painted uh, drinking straw to cover the front strut and, and this sort of plastic cutout fairing there which is a little bit rough. I 3D printed a, a, a prop spacer and little cone there. Now I flipped it over and this is where the uh, Ailon servos mount in. Uh, there's a couple of little wooden posts that are glued in there for the servo to attach to and you really have to re-glue them. I've, I've just popped them off and used epoxy because uh, they were just sort of 
held on with spit basically, <laughs> not very strong at all. They use uh, CA hinges all the way through uh, and there's the little steerable tail wheel there that connects to the rudder. That's how the landing gear is uh, attached there. Uh, that would pop off in a decent crash, which is probably a good thing. Without the battery, it weighs about 2.7 kilograms, I think, and then you've got to add about 600 grams worth of battery. And that's sort of looking in the nose. You can see the uh, extra lead that I've uh, glued in there. But it's a stunning looking model. It'll be a special occasion flyer, only when it's really nice weather, I think. And uh, hopefully Michael and I will be able to get out and do some formation flying with our two big, beautiful balsa tiger moths. Oh, look at the size of that thing. Barely fits in there. All right, here we go. Maiden of the big Hobby King 1.4 meter tiger moth. Covering's going a bit ripply in the sun. It's a bit of wind. Uh, I might take it out onto the shorter grass too. Weighing in at about well, over three kilograms. Go away, wind. Don't need that. Up, down. I think we're ready to go. Bit of a hairy start there. But we're flying now. It's acting a bit tail heavy. Ooh, that's a bit scary. Is that just too much elevator? Let's go down to 60, 70, sorry. All right, time to go again. Better. Now we're flying. Oh, that's <laughs> cool. Twelve amps or so. Too much wind for it, but that's. Gorgeous. Oh yeah. What a beautiful big bird. Need some rudder to turn properly. A bit of rudder mixing would be nice. <laughs> what a beautiful plane. <laughs> CG seems about right now. I just had too much elevator. Hmm. Flying on half throttle, just over half throttle. Can just cruise around like a tiger moth should. Don't want that wind. Oh yeah, beautiful. Two, three thousand. 4S in there. I'm only running off one at the moment. I really want to run off two, but I just forgot to put my connector in. Oh, beautiful. Power's just right, I think. Can uh, ramp it up for a bit more if I want to.
flying around nicely on 12 or 13 amps. Just flying nice and sedately. Wind's died down a bit now, which is nice. Well, I better bring it down and put a camera on it. See how we land it. Bit of long soggy grass around. Keep me eye on it. Watch out for my depth perception over near those trees. Power down. That's a nice landing. Oh, skin's all tightened up. It did loosen off in the sun. Oh, that went well. Happy with that. It feels so heavy, but uh, <laughs> it's got the, oh. Uh, it did come with some repair tape. I just noticed I've got a little bit of a rip there. What's that? How did that happen? Anyway, I can repair that. Oh, very nice. Camera time. So what a beautiful big old plane this is, love it, big slow scale, uh, my favourite sort of plane, it's a Hobby King 1400mm Balsa Cambridge Groups inspired Tiger Moth, what a beauty, thanks for watching.